in there. So, an important character on the Safari Live team, the Thumb. These five girls were here this morning. Interestingly enough, though, there's a chance that they were chased off a buffalo kill last night, and that doesn't happen very often. There was a lot of meat remaining. Brent's headed out there first thing this morning, expecting to find them there, nibbling on the leftovers. But alas, they were gone, and there was a lot of sign of hyena activity in that area, so possibly they were overthrown. None of them are bearing any wounds, and maybe they decided it just wasn't worth the fight. Either way, that was an unexpected surprise. But what was certainly not a surprise was that we would find them again here this afternoon, fast asleep in the midday sun, as I'm sure James has colorfully explained to you guys with lots of adjectives as to how hot we actually are. It is a scorcher. And because of the scorching temperatures, we can expect these lioness to, in all likelihood, not do too much for the next while. And because we had such an exciting morning with the cheetah on the property, having not seen one for seven months, I'm told, somebody did the maths there, and it was seven months till we saw the last one, I feel that we would, should probably all agree that our interests should be focused on the cheetah, which is much more likely to be moving now, even though it's very hot, as our leopard. But these are the laziest of the big cats in the Sabi sand summer, and usually only get active after dark. So we'll maybe spend a couple more minutes here. Just keep an eye on there. Maybe we'll get them to lift their heads up. Not that we'll get them to. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to see them lift their heads up. We're not going to try out and go out of our way to do that, of course. I just find it absolutely remarkable that they decide to lie on top of one another. I mean, bear in mind they've got a fur coat that we don't have to deal with. So they must be even warmer than we are. They don't have the ability to sweat, but who knows, maybe panting is a more effective way of cooling down. But the fact that they are even lying close to one another is hard for my brain to fathom. But they are social cats, and one of the most sociable cats on the entire planet, and I guess they're staying true to that now.